Hi, Pisces. So the weekly reading for the sign of Pisces, we're connecting into um, whoever is connected into Pisces, whether it's curiosity in the sign or whether if it's your sun, moon or rising sign or even Venus sign. Um, this could resonate with, with any of you. It, it probably won't resonate with everyone, but hopefully there's something here, Pisces, that can help you along the way. All right, let's go ahead and get right into this. For Pisces people, we have Ten of Pentacles flipping over. Pisces. Pisces for the week ahead. Pisces for the week ahead. Woo! Goodness. Goodness. Pisces for the week ahead. Lover's card flipped over. Pisces for the week ahead. Jeez. All right. Let's see what we have here, Pisces. Starting off with the Ace of Swords, Justice Energy, Libra, Knight of Wands, Sagittarius, Aries, or Leo type. And then we have the Queen of Swords, Aquarius, Libra, Pisces, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, and maybe Pisces, <laughs> High Priestess. Five of Wands, Page of Cups, we have the Seven of Wands, and the Ten of Swords. Okay, Pisces. Well, the first half of the week, you are embodying the Seven of Wands. There's something here that you're fighting for, or I would almost have to say pushing against. Something that you're pushing against. I feel like you're in some sort of rebellion from it, some sort of revolt. Now, those are really dramatic words to use. It's probably just something that's coming up this week that you're going to be pushing back on someone. I just feel this lady, lady uh, justice here is pushing with her sword, pushing forward, like creating space for herself or um, demanding some sort of attention be given to her. It's just, or take notice of this is something here that you're pushing back on. And I feel like you're, you're like, she's taking her blade and pushing her blade forward and demanding something, creating a space, um, that's how I feel about this energy that you're going to be in. There's something you've realized, Pisces, and I think you've made a decision. It, there, there's something that's very clear um, to you. It's, it's something that you've seen, you've observed, you've understood it intellectually, like within yourself. Uh, I really think, Pisces, for the most part, you really haven't talked a whole lot about this. This is something that you really have uh, realized internally. I, I believe it's something that you've been quiet about, but you have realized the truth of it. And I think that it's somewhat aggravating, Pisces. I think it's upsetting. It's it's something that's really not fair. And I think over the week over the next week it is going to push you into advocating for yourself in, in a in a certain way. Um it, it I do feel it comes in it comes in this energy comes in with something that you're wanting to do. Something that you're wanting to do and you're wanting to do it I think Pisces a certain way. Um, and there could be other people around you that want to do this differently. Um, and you might have not realized the intentions of the other people around you. I feel like uh, you're realizing that there's some sort of um, whoever you're working with, because we have justice here. So there's someone that you're connecting to or a group or something, leadership even, that you could be connecting to that you're pushing against. So there's something here you're pushing back against. Probably something um, that a, another person has decreed to be of importance or 
or whether it's something in a plan or something you're pushing back, you've realized there's some sort of unfairness and there's something here uh, that's very clear to you now. And in one way or another, this next week, you're going to be able to uh, push back on something that has been unfair to you. And I do think it is some something here, somebody or there's people around you are wanting to have things their own way or do this their own way. And I feel like there could be some sort of conflict around that in the next week. Now, I'm not sure how it's going to go because all of you are going to be in like different situations. But at the end of the week, you move into the Ten of Swords. So, and this Ten of Swords is connected in to the Five of Wands, which is this conflict in taking action. Um, people around you maybe having different intentions. They have different goals than you. There, there's, there's a, there's like a discrepancy uh, of where the, like, what, what are we doing here? What is the goal here? And it feels like there, there could be like underlying goals or there could be just be ways of there, there is a, there is like a group of people coming together. And it's one way or another Pisces and they're all scrambling to do something their own way or to take care of something their own way. And there could be just ways of doing things now, Pisces, that there just could be an, a lot of different options of, about how to do something. For you, though, you're looking for to do it in a way that's fair for you. I, You know, it's something that's fair for you. So either you have realized you're not re getting, you're not, it's not reciprocating anything. It's not, it's not returning to either money or inspiration. Like there's something that's not there yet. And, and you're pushing forward saying, look, this needs to be fair for me. I need to feel good about this. I need to feel right about this. And in order for me to feel good about what I'm doing and about this mission I'm on, I need to be able to do it in a way that fits for me, in a way that feels good for me. Um, and I feels like there is some sort of a, an entanglement here in the middle of the week. Now you move into the Ten of Swords position, but the Ten of Swords position rides up over the top of the Five of Wands, over the top of the Page of Cups, into the Knight of Wands. <laughs> so... Pisces, whatever happens, whatever comes out of this, um, I do feel like it, it is, it's something that comes up over the week and it dissipates again. It dissipates. And I feel like whatever happens here, you do find a way to move forward and you do find a way to, um, to stand strong in whatever you're doing. And, and I feel like, I feel like this is you, Pisces, moving forward in, in a way that um, might be a little bit hard for you to do. It's like leaving your reservations behind and doing something that's really off the cuff for you. It, it's off the cuff. It's something that's not quite planned out, Pisces, and it might be a little bit hard to do it. But I think that you're saying, you know what? I'm so tired. I'm, I'm just done with this. I'm going to move forward and do it in the way that's provided or in the way that I can do it. It's, it's like, it, it might even be Pisces, something that you have at work. And th there might be a group of people here working on the same thing or working on the same goal. And you all might get together and have this conversation about, okay, how do we do this? You know, what's your role? What's her role? What's his role? What's my role? And there, there's just some sort of conversation that helps to clear this up. And I do feel like there is movement forward. And I feel like it's kind of fast and furious. Um, something that you're doing, and you might even feel Pisces a little bit out of control. Um, and you could even be dealing with a Sagittarius or a Aries or a um, Leo type person where they're just willing to just step into just anything without having instructions. And, and you might really feel like it, you would like it to be a little bit more controlled, a little bit more uh, in line with the goal, perhaps, because you do have this element here this week, Pisces, of just kind of mo moving off the cuff, doing it off the cuff, doing without a plan, not having it well laid out. I think, Pisces, it could have you feeling like it's really hard, right? It could just be something that you're doing that's really hard. I just think it's very temporary. It's very short. Uh, and by the time that this situation um, ends, Pisces, <laughs> I really feel like this is the ending of it, right? It's just something that happens this week um, where it's it's just going to be uncomfortable. It's something that you're sort of fighting back against. And I do feel like 
you are able to, to fight for yourself or to argue for yourself in a way that's going to be beneficial. So I'm glad to see the justice energy here. I think that really helps you stay calm and rational and, and bring forward a very strong point of view. And we see that here with the seven of wands. I, I'm really not worried about this conversation. I think it's going to be something that you can absolutely handle. Um, you, you may not even like what you're doing, Pisces. You may just be frustrated by the whole thing. Nevertheless, by the time the week is over, I think that you have moved into this. This has come to an end. It's just a three or four day thing that you go through, maybe even a day that this happens on. Um, I would say by the end of the week, you're feeling a lot better about what you've done. I think you feel almost in a weird way, like refreshed by it. It might have been something just very difficult anyway, Pisces, that you've had to do. And in a way, moving forward in this Knight of Wands space, it might have been in a way like the best way to do it. it it's just not comfortable and it's not controlled. And there's a lot of like uncontrollables here, but sometimes um, it just... Sometimes we just need to just jump in and get it done. And it feels like there's that kind of energy here. Um, I, it feels like you do kind of set yourself up for success in the beginning. But then as it happens, it's like it's something that it's like time is moving forward. It's like something is going to happen on Thursday. And here we are on Monday. I'm just this is just a scenario. And we need to plan for whatever's going to happen on Thursday. And we're planning and we're having discussion about it. And there's people that you know, are all kind of trying to come together to find a way forward and they all have different ways of doing it. But nevertheless, by the time Thursday rolls around, like you're, you're in action and you're doing it, whatever it is, and you might feel like it's too excitable or it's too fast or it's too quick or it's not controlled enough. Um, and, and I think it's hard, but by the end of the week, Pisces, you're feeling pretty good. I really feel like there's a new sense about you and a new sense about this. And I think that you're realizing that whatever you did in the moment or whatever you, however you connected in with this Knight of Wands, who could actually be a person here that you're traveling with in this journey, that you are feeling good about what you did and you are feeling good about this Knight of Wands energy as well. I really think it's okay, Pisces, at the end of the week. I think it's going to be okay. You are tired. You are tired. And this, I think, has been like something that just adds to the tiredness that you carry within you. Um, yeah, there is a sense of this has been a long and difficult journey. And um, I'm just going to do what it takes. I'm going to do what I need to do in the moment. And I do, really do see you pulling through in a fantastic way, Pisces. Um, by the end of the week, you're you're back in the Page of Cups. I do feel like there's something here that's quite important to you. And um, you're really uh, willing and able and inspired to take action when you need to. There could even be a child here, Pisces. Uh, whatever it is, it's a refreshment. It's, a, it's, a re it's almost like a refreshment coming in after a, a long, hot day of working outside. A, a cool refreshment um, is, is what is consumed afterwards. And it feels good and it kind of refreshes itself. And I think, Pisces, that's kind of how you are going to feel by the end of the week with the Page of Cups over the top of the Queen of Swords. So as you're moving out of this week, I think that you're in a strong position as you move forward. And I think you are even looking into the future and um, you, you've got your eye on something else here as you move into the future. This is just a blimp. Uh, a, a, this is just a, sort of a, a something that happened this week. And I think that uh, it's going to come in like a little bit of a roller coaster. But as you exit the week, um, you're looking forward here in, in, a, in quite a, a strong intellectual way. See how you start the week with having this clarity. And I really think that you're even stronger in your clarity by the end of the week. And whatever you've experienced here has given you um, something here to ponder over and to plan with and to strategize with. Um, I'm going into, this is a Two of Cups energy. I'm going into the Queen of Swords now. There is a partnership here that's very important or you're, you're, thinking and uh, about this partnership, strategizing about the partnership. Um, there is a strong heart to heart connection here. It doesn't have to be a work partnership, but it's definitely two people or two groups of people that are very connected in the heart center um, in what brings them joy and what brings them emotion connected in, into the most precious um, ways that you can connect in through the heart um, through the emotions. So there's somebody, there are people here that are very important for one another. Here's the Queen of Wands slipping over. I'm just going to pull another card for the Queen of Swords. Something about partnership here. 
lovers, business partners, children, family members, those precious, those precious relationships that we have, some sort of strategy and planning about that. Three of Swords, there's been some pain and hurt here. Overcoming something, Ace of Pentacles coming in. There's some money to be made here. There's some improvements to be to be connected in with. We do have the Ace of Pentacles here. So you are looking at improving finances and improving the home life and improving the daily experience in the third dimension. Um, working with assets and liabilities and possessions and material goods and income and all of that, that brings betterment and healing into life. Um, it does feel, Pisces, that there has been someone here that's truly important to you that has gone through a really rough period of time. Um, it could be you. It could be your partner. I do feel it's connected in with a partnership here. And you're moving, you're looking forward in, into the future, realizing there's some money to be made. There's some business to be made or there's some money to be made or there's some security to be connected in with. There's some improvements here, Pisces, that you're looking to make um, because there's something here that's needing to be fixed, something here that has not been right, it has not been fair, it has not been healthy, right? There's a, there's a lot of this pain here, but it does look like there's a way to overcome this. Um, and I, it does feel like there is a strong connection here with partnership and it, it does feel like there's, there's like a new feeling of refreshing, like a can do energy. Like I can't, let's go into the, uh, Pisces, let's go into the page of cups. Tell me more about this page of cups here. Page of cups. I think that's really important. Six of pentacles. There you go. Six of pentacles. See what else is here. Page of cups. Seven of pentacles. Ah, ah. See, Pisces, the empress. You're working on something here. You're working on something here. We have the six of pentacles. This is the ease and balance in life. This is uh, feeling and experiencing satisfaction with the money that flows in and out, in and out of your hand, in and out of your bank account, feeling good about the efforts that are being taken and, and the income that is being received or the generosity that is being shared. Um, it does seem like this is this is really about the movement of um, money, the balancing of money, and what it, and how it brings balance and harmony to our lives around us. Six of Pentacles is having enough to live on, being able to pay your bills, putting some money away for emergencies, having some extra to spend out on the town with with enjoyments or with nonprofits or whatever it is, having some flexibility with finances um, and having the security and safety that um, what is coming in is is satisfying and, and it's worth the work that's it, that's been happening. It's worth it. Um, we also have the seven of pentacles here. So there is some strategy and some work here being done to really work on this, on this uh, process, I want to say some sort of process or some sort of project or something here, Pisces, that you're working on. Um, it's not totally at the point of readiness, but I do feel like with a little bit more work and a little bit more effort and maybe some time, there might be some other people here that are a part of this as well, but I just feel like we're moving from the Six of Pentacles to the Seven of Pentacles. Um, I, it just feels like you're you're moving forward in, in this journey realizing that there's some improvements to be made there's some money to be made there's some betterment to be to be experienced and we have the empress coming here too so um, there's something here that you're working to bring forward to create um, to make yours to nurture along to grow into something viable um, and so this group of pisces it looks like uh, you're really in a process of, of creating steadiness and security and new promise for tomorrow. And this week, I believe, continues to help you connect in with that, that long-term goal. And I do think, Pisces, that even though there's this experience that you're having in, in, in advocating for yourself, I do think it is one small step. Um, one small step. What is that? Um, the Armstrong quote on the moon. One small step for... Well, I can't remember what it is, but it's like it's a continuation of improvements that you're making. And a, um, it's almost like a lifestyle. Um, 
it's like a, a, a mindset that you have, but, but this is work that you're doing that helps to validate that mindset or validate that lifestyle. I think it's a good week, Pisces. I think you're going to be proud of yourself when you're done. I think you're going to feel good about how you advocated for this. I think you're going to feel good about how you, um, how you were able to step into this situation, realizing that it was, it was a little bit out of control. It was a little bit more than maybe you wanted, but you still were able to, to move through it. You almost, you almost kind of gave into it and said, okay, well, if I got to do it, I've got to do it. You know, maybe you even lose the argument. Like you might even, you know, in the negotiations, you might have, you know, you might have had to say, okay, but at the end of the week here, you're looking at this energy and feeling good about it and feeling like it was a betterment or there's some good that's going to come from it. And I do think that it, that it kind of sets your mind into action again. It connects you back into what is truly important and it really gets you thinking again, gets you back into the strategizing type place. Let's look at one more card here. I want to go into the justice card. One more before we go. One more before I go to the extended. Let me get into the justice card here. Page of Pentacles. Justice energy. Tower. We see this like this surprise coming in or this kind of chaotic energy coming in. Three of Swords. You know, it could be Pisces. You're, you're looking for some something tangible here. It, it could be some sort of increase in pay or increase in income, increase in commission. Um, could be even a referral fee. I'm not sure what's going on, but I think you're saying like, look, I'm going to need to see something that's going to be worth it. I'm going to need to see something that's more than promises. I'm going to need to um, have some sort of deposit made or like it can't just be an idea that you have. It, it can't just be me doing this because I like you. It ha there has to be some greater reason for this. It, it, there needs to be some sort of a reciprocation here that's of, of some sort of value for you, real tangible value. Um, and, and this is something that happens quickly. And I feel like you're saying, like, if this is going to be something that happens um, that doesn't have any warning, that doesn't really bring in any time to prepare, like, that, that has to be worth something that I'm wi willing to step into this. I mean, the tower is chaotic energy. It, it brings a lot of sudden change. And if I'm going to be stepping into this kind of situation, I'm going to need to make sure that I'm covered, that I'm safe, that I'm secure, that I'm going to be okay. Because there, this, this is, you're dealing with some sort of sadness and trauma and hardship here. I mean, you could be stepping into a situation uh, of helping other people that's somewhat in, like it's, it, it might not even be safe for you. You might be saying, look, I need to make sure that I'm safe and secure when I'm doing this. I mean, you could even be realizing that whatever you're doing is somewhat dangerous. And you might just be saying, look, if I'm going to go into the danger zone, if I need to, if I'm going to be going into the danger zone here, I want to make sure I, I'm putting on my safety vest, right? Something like that. Wow. Wow, Pisces. <laughs> Others of you going back to YouTube, I will see you back um, on YouTube with another weekly reading next week for Pisces. Thank you all very much.